I'm Dr. Lisa Aronson Fontes. I'm going to speak about steps to take if you are in a controlling relationship and have decided you'd like to get out. Maybe you're in a relationship where you're being isolated, insulted, micromanaged, manipulated. Maybe you're being subject to sexual coercion or physical violence. I know you can feel really trapped in a relationship like this. Here are some tips. Connect with other people, in person, on the phone, online. Don't allow yourself to become or stay isolated. Being with others helps rebuild your confidence and people can offer you practical assistance too. Develop some regular habits that take you out of the house such as going for a walk each day or going to the store to buy a pack of gum or take out the trash. Being in the world is good for you. Even if your partner is not physically violent, a domestic violence advocate can help you. Together, you'll develop a personalized safety plan that fits your life and what you want. You'll update the plan as your situation changes. An advocate can help you access money, police protection, transportation, and housing if you need it. An advocate will listen to you and support you, not push you. Have the advocate help you get police protection if you need it. If your partner has access to guns, this is especially important. A counselor or therapist who understands coercive control can also help you feel strong enough to move on. However, a therapist who does not understand coercive control may give you bad advice. Couple therapy is not right if there is abuse or control between partners. It may even be dangerous. You'll want to protect your money and your children if you have children. You may need legal advice. A domestic violence agency can help you find a lawyer who understands coercive control. Interested in learning more? Please check out my book, Invisible Chains, Overcoming Coercive Control in Your Intimate Relationship and look for my other videos on coercive control. Thank you.